Thanks again for joining us. This is our fourth video on our favorite new features in the Muse 2014 release. And this one's really simple. I think uh, around the community, people are going to question why I think this is so powerful, but I'm really excited to show you. It's called re right click replace image or right click image replacement. So what we can do here is I'll just show you on a totally blank page. So let's go ahead and place a new image into this page. So if we go ahead and paste this image in like that, done. Now, typically, because when you click on this, it's not filled with a background image. It's something you've placed in the site. Replacing it was pretty difficult. You couldn't just click on it, select a new image or anything like that. You kind of had to replace another image, let's say this one, and then you'd, you know, you'd have to kind of size it closely to fit. Maybe we'll put it on top like that and scale the frame. Oops, wrong button there. Scale the frame a little bit differently, you know, change the background size, etc. It was really a quite a pain. But now with placed or background images, you can click on it and right click and select replace image. And that just brings up a finder window and you can select something totally different. We can select this picture of this guy and it puts it right in over top. So this works again with both background image fills and placed images. The reason that I'm so excited about this is because in the Muse Themes library file, we have literally a hundred plus sliders, galleries, that sort of thing. And they can be really complicated sometimes to swap images in and out of. So if I click on this slider nine, slick and slide and drag that out, I'll show you what I mean. So let's just move this up so we can see a little bit better. So if we were going to replace the image in the background, prior to this new version, we'd have to actually add in a whole new image by clicking on File Panel, going Adding Images, and then deleting out the old ones. Now in the new version of Muse, we can just click right under the hero image. We can right click and go Replace Image. We can select something totally different like this banner, click Open and the image swaps out just like that. So now you're not having to delete things out and it's it's a really powerful new feature. Maybe I'm the only one, but let's see. And I think it's especially helpful for our template workflow. So when you open up a template from you seems, let's say our wander template here, and you click into this page, you might just want to replace this header image quickly. Now, just click on it, right click and go replace background image, select an entirely new image like this one, click open and there you go, the image has changed out. So now you can quickly run through our templates and go ahead and replace all the images but the entire site structure is exactly the same as when you open the template. You're not gonna have issues with things ending up on different layers or replacing graphics. It's a fantastic improvement in Muse and I think you're gonna love it. Thanks again for watching and stay tuned to our next video which is on in-browser editing anywhere.